Chicago, hopefully, Moira O'Brien. Do you travel? Little do you know your own blessedness, for to travel hopefully is a better thing than to arrive. And the true success is to labour. So said Robert Louis Stevenson in 1881. Uncontest chair, fellow Toastmasters, welcome guests. To that I say, poppycock. Let me take you back to the 7th of February this year. I was to take a trip to Cambridge in England to look after my invalid sister for a week to give her husband, Adrian, a week off. He could go off on holiday. Now, I had this trip planned to the last detail. I would go to Parnell Place and catch the Euroline's coach at 4 p.m., via the Irish Sea and via Southern England, arriving at Victoria Coach Station in London at about 8.30 the following morning. I'd have a quick breakfast and then catch another coach up to Trumpington, near Cambridge, where my brother-in-law would collect me and drive me the 10 minutes to Barton, the little village where they reside. <coughs> no problem, I've done this many times before. So on the day, I leave my car at my friend Derry's house and Derry drives me into Parnell Place and I arrive there, as is my wont, in very good time. <clears throat> and I go there and I wait. And I wait. And I wait. And at 4pm, when the coach is due, no sign of it. So, I go along into the information office and I say to the man behind the desk, any news on the you're a nice coach? Very politely, you know. And he looks at me in a strange way. And he says, <clears throat> as if to say, you silly woman. But instead he says, are you Moira O'Brien? Yes. You didn't give us your telephone number so we couldn't tell you that the coach is cancelled due to bad weather. Now, I was pretty sure I had given him my telephone number when I made the booking. But I wasn't going to argue the point. Well, not too strongly, anyway. So instead I said, well, you had my email address. Why didn't you send me an email? Your email address is invalid. I beg your pardon? Your email address is invalid. Your alliance at moiraobrien.com, in fact, anything at moiraobrien.com is my email address. It's not a valid email address. Can you see the veins beginning to stand out of my forehead as I get more and more upset. You should have sent the email. If it bounced, that's my fault. If it didn't bounce, well, you've sent the email. I took the decision not to send it. It's not your decision. It is. It isn't. It. Can you see this going on and on? I could feel the four-letter words rising up and they were about to reach my... I withdrew gracefully. <clears throat> Do you travel hopefully? Derry, come and collect me. They've cancelled the coach. Get into the car. Get out the phone. On the internet. Aer Lingus. 8pm. Heathrow. Ooh. <sighs> Bit expensive. Bye. So, <clears throat> 6.30... The saintly Derry takes me to the airport and I arrive in plenty of time. I get on the plane. 8 p.m. we take off on time. An hour and a half's journey. We arrive at Heathrow half an hour early. The wind, which had cancelled the ferry, which was going to take me across the Irish Sea, had blown us to Heathrow <coughs> half an hour before time. Wonderful. So, my case off the baggage. And before I go off to the tube, I get on the internet again. And I booked my train to Cambridge. Fine. Onto the train. And whilst we were wending our windy way through West London, I had a premonition. I took out my phone 
we just had a bit of internet and looked up trains. Cancelled. Every train to Cambridge cancelled. Power lines down. Do you travel, hopefully? So, change of plan. Reroute to Victoria. Get off the tube to Victoria tube station. Walk the three or four hundred yards to Victoria coach station. <clears throat> Book onto a coach to Trumpington. Get on the coach, sitting comfortably. Look at my ticket. It doesn't stop at Trumpington. <laughs> It goes into Cambridge City Centre. Not only that, it arrives a whole hour earlier. Quick phone call to Adrian to collect me at half past one instead of half past two in the morning. And we arrive at 25 past one. And Adrian's there waiting for me. We drive the 10 minutes to Barton. And 15 minutes after that, I'm tucked up in bed, all cosy and happy. I'm going to leave it up to you to decide whether I travelled, hopefully. But, Madam Contest Chair, I can tell you I was bloody glad that I arrived. 